Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today I want to show you a program called WinArrow Tweaker. This is a program that has lots and lots of tweaks in it for Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10. As you can see in the image below, there is a huge list there of things you can tweak within Windows using this program. Anyway, enough of that, let's go ahead and download this program. First you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below and you'll end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page you need to click on this download WinArrow Tweaker link. Once you've clicked on that you now need to scroll down and click download WinArrow Tweaker. Once you've done that you now need to go save file and we're just going to open up the folder. And we're going to now double click the setup file and we're going to just install the program by going next. Next, you can actually install a portable mode as well if you'd prefer to not have the program installed on your machine, but I'm gonna leave it on normal. We're now gonna go next, I accept, next, 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 and if you want to install this program for all users, keep for all users checked, and if you want a desktop shortcut icon, keep that checkbox ticks, ticked as well. We're now gonna go next and install, and I'm just going to deselect the checkbox at the bottom, and we're going to run the tweaker. You need to press I agree, I do also recommend creating a system restore point before doing any tweaks on this program. As you can see here, we have a huge list of stuff we can tweak. That is why I absolutely love this program. If I scroll down a bit here, you can see we've got theme behavior, we've got slow down animations, we've got window borders. We can change the width of them if we want by making them smaller or bigger. We can disable arrow snap. We can disable ads in Windows 10. If we scroll down a little more here, we've got enable crash on control scroll lock. We've also got error reporting, which we can disable if we want. Require a password on wake up. USB write protection, which we can enable if we want. We've also got a lot of boot and logon options here. As you can see, logon screen image, we can disable the logon screen background image if we want. If we scroll down a bit here, we've got network icon on lock screen. Disable the network icon on the lock screen if you don't want people to be able to see you connected to the network. If we scroll down a little bit more here, we've got Cortina's search box on top. Um, it says here, move Cortina's search box to the top of the search pan. We scroll down a little bit more here, we've got the old volume control. If you prefer the old volume control to the new Windows 10 one, you can re-enable that, which is absolutely great. It means you don't have to go into the registry yourself doing all these little awkward tweaks and risking the chance of you messing up the registry. Here we've got increased taskbar transparency level. If you just tick that box, for, for example, we do need to sign out though for it to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sign out quickly just to show you how easy it was just to increase the taskbar transparency. I've now logged out and logged back into Windows and as you can see my taskbar down the bottom is a lot more transparent. You can see straight through to my background there. The only thing it's not changed is this search box but you can remove that if you want. Let's go back and see what other tweaks there are. We got network flyout. Show seconds on taskbar clock. We've got Windows version on the desktop if you want people to know what version you're using. So if you do tutorials like myself. The list goes on. As you can see, there is loads of tweaks you can do. That's why I really do recommend you give this program a go. If you did find this video helpful, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.